this gentleman had a uh, pectoral major tear when he was working out. It was repaired, but he has an asymmetry and the right side of his chest is much smaller. So we're gonna fat graft it today. So we're gonna sculpt his uh, abdomen and love handles and his flanks and uh, prepare the fat for uh, purification and putting it back into his right chest. So now we're doing some uh, high definition shaping with uh, ultrasound or razor. So what I'm doing now is I'm injecting some fat in his chest wall, the areas that is deficient. It's gonna be fat grafted and left with. So we're done with the fat grafting. I've over injected him because I'm gonna lose about 40% uh, of it, a little less than uh, half of the fat will be absorbed and the remainder will stay. So he didn't have any pectoralis major definition, especially when he was making a fist. As you can take a look here, I've recreated that for him. This gentleman uh, had a uh, pectoralis major tendon rupture, a very interesting case. Uh, fortunately, he had it twice, so he had a depression. He was basically missing some muscle in this area. So what we did is did some fat grafting, and uh, this is him today after one session of fat grafting. I've recreated the fold for him to a certain extent. It's not quite perfect, so we're going to do some more. I did some uh, abdominal etching for him. It looks good here and we preserve the fat, we froze it and then the fat bank sends us the fat back today and we're going to do some more grafting into his chest wall. So this is some really great fat that we got back from his uh, fat bank, a special uh, tissue bank that uh, freezes the fat uh, for us and then send it back to us and we're going to sterilely inject it back. Again, he's missing some muscle, so I have to recreate the ridge of muscle that goes between his uh, chest wall and his arm. And uh, unlike the fresh fat, this fat takes a little less. Uh, normally, it's about 60% take. This is more like 40% take. So we have to over-inject to counter for that. 